teenager, what was your favourite book? Ooh, when I was a teenager, um, I think it was probably She by H. Ryder Haggard. Um, there's a film been made of it, quite an old one, um, but I guess it was written probably about 100 years ago now, and it's an adventure story about some people that go to Africa and discover a lost tribe, and the, uh, the head of the tribe is a woman who lives forever because she's bathed in a magic flame. And that was my absolutely favourite book for years and years and years. Um, I liked it because it had a really good background. They had at the beginning of the book, when the heroes discovering this lost tribe, they had all the documents in Greek and Latin and everything, and really in the languages. So you really felt like you were discovering the whole thing with it. So yeah, that was my favourite book. Um, when you write, do you have a special place you like to be? Um, I always write at home at my desk. I don't have a laptop. Um, and yeah, it's a real mess actually. <laughs> and I won't let anybody else touch it, but I feel quite happy with my mess there. <laughs> and I've also got a, um, a picture of Bad Woods to Eiffel where my first book is set on the wall. Um, when I was writing that book, I was actually still living there and I could look out of the window and look at the forest and everything outside. So I still like to have that picture there for inspiration. Um, the ending of The Vanishing of Katerina Linden is quite shocking. Did you have it in mind from the very start or did it evolve as you were writing? Um, yes, I did have it in mind, uh, partly because um, one of the inspirations from the book was seeing um, one of the real life wells in Badman's Drive because. Uh, to a certain extent it's based on historical fact. All the old houses on the main street had wells up until the 1940s when they were closed off because running water came. And uh, an old man who, um, who owns a house that has one of these still in the cellar showed me it when he was doing some renovation and he was saying that um, when they were actually building these wells in the Middle Ages it was very dangerous because you would dig down and at a certain point the water table would burst through and if you were in the well at the time you'd get drowned. And so I had that idea, this sort of idea of something nasty being in the well for really quite a long time ago. Um, finally, what would your advice be to aspiring authors? Well, I think a lot of people say read a lot, and I think that's true. But I also think to experience a lot, um, and to talk to lots of people, take an interest in different people who have different stories of their own to tell. That's been really important for me because I've always written ever since I was, well, ever since I could write when I was six, but when I was at school, I could write about what it was like to be at school, but that was probably about it. But now, I've travelled in a lot of different countries and I've lived abroad and I've got children of my own, so there's a lot more things I've experienced, and so when I write about them, I can do that in, in a realistic way. So I'd say the main thing is just soak up every experience you can.